Today is Wednesday, June 12th. My name is David Favor, and I'm going to give a quick overview of how to uh, create a powerful uh, Amazon review. And so let's start by um, uh, taking a look at my reviews here. We'll just go through a few. Now here's my latest boondoggle, the the uh, 32 gigabyte Wi-Fi SD card, which uh, only works if you got an iPhone, which is kind of annoying. So the, these cards are pretty cool. I'd recommend you know if anybody's doing uh, audio or video recording, pay attention to this technology because it's coming along rapidly. Eventually, you'll be able to have these Wi-Fi cards that you can just um, connect to like a uh, as if the card was a laptop or another computer and when the technology comes to that point then you can just uh, uh, drag and drop your um, video footage off your camera onto your laptop so the things to pay attention to regarding this technology is when these cards change to using 802.11 AC Wi-Fi wi chips um, which means that they'll run at Ethernet speeds, in other words, physical copper wire speeds, which will just be crazy fast. And also, when you can uh, uh, mount these uh, devices as uh, uh, external disks, so that you can, you know, basically have your camcorder mounted on your laptop, and you can, you know, videotape something and then stop it, and then copy the footage over to your laptop and while that's copying start filming the next thing so if you're doing for example a conference you could um, practically have uh, every video you know finished a few minutes after it was taken and provided as a back-end product very cool all right on to Amazon reviews uh, let's make this a little bit bigger here um, Here's a here's a good example. Uh, here's a buddy of mine, uh, Brian Massey. Which this is a great book. Um, I'd recommend you you know pick a copy up of this if you're uh, doing any kind of marketing. Um, so your customer creation equation. Here's an example of uh, what's required for uh, having a powerful uh, Amazon review. First off, um, notice this text right here. Amazon verified purchaser and I'll show you here um, how to set that uh, shortly I'll make a note to myself so there are two type of reviews one type of review is that if you already own something or if you are just reviewing it on Amazon for some reason then you do a review and um, you won't be flagged as a verified purchaser now Amazon frowns on this, especially if for for some reason you have you know thousands of people um, go and um, uh, you know post reviews. So the that's review spamming, and um, Amazon's been uh, removing those. And if you get caught buying review uh, spam, uh, they could potentially kick you out of Amazon because that, because that's a violation of their TOS terms of service. So the first um, primary consideration is um, to do a powerful Amazon review, you really have to purchase a person's product. So if you're doing a review swap with someone, for example, I did a review swap with Brian. I had a copy of his book on my bookshelf, which is a, a great thing for you to do is go to your bookshelf and start picking books off the shelf and uh, contact the authors. If you have a Kindle book in Amazon, for example, and you'd like reviews, start contacting authors on your bookshelf. Uh, and have them do reviews of your books and you do a swap so I called or I Skyped uh, Brian and I said uh, hey buddy I realized um, you know um, your book is one of my favorites um, how about you you know I got a copy of your physical book here and my Kindle books can cost way less than that uh, how about you buy a copy of my book and uh, you um, I'll tell you a chapter of you and you tell me a chapter of you or you know uh, find a chapter and pitch that to the author. In this case, actually, I, I think I pitched him a chapter. I said, how about I review chapter seven? He said, great. Well, and he asked me what chapter I'd like reviewed, and I told him. So, first thing is um, buy the book. And then um, 
go to a chapter and I'll, usually what I'll do is I'll put a date in here. Notice this date here. So I put the date and the chapter number and the chapter title. And the reason this is important is, uh, uh, well, I'll get to that in a minute. If you look down through here, I mean, this is a, this is a, a true review. I mean, I actually read this chapter. And the easy way to do a review is, um, you know, read, uh, sit down at your computer with the book and start reading. And when you find something interesting, just type it right in the review panel on Amazon. Don't bother taking notes and transcribing it. Just copy it. Um, also, you notice here, especially if you have a um, uh, anything published on Kindle or you have products in Amazon, be sure and link to them out of your review. So um, here... Uh, I say writing beautiful business, I prefer the word attracting, is more accurate uh, with Brian too. And let's see, uh, oh, I said Brian uses the word advertising for a complex operation, attracting. And then I go in to talk a little bit about my book in relation to his book. That's, that's um, uh, called review jacking, and it's a soft jack. In other words, a, uh, a car jacking, for example, is when you, you know, physically remove something somebody from their car and uh, take it that's a hard jacking a soft jacking is where a car pulls up to a corner and you open the passenger side door and get in and say you know I'm gonna stay here in this seat until you drop me off so you're not really being belligerent you're just kinda tagging along uh, and uh, causing you know little or no problems and in this case we're actually adding value so what I've done is I've done a soft link to my book or a uh, a, a conversation inside the review of how Brian's book relates to my book and how my relate my book relates to his book and I'll show you um, I guess I'll go next to uh, Brian's uh, review of my book or I will in here a minute and show you um, how to cross-link um, when Brian did his review of my book I'll show you how to cross-link back to Brian's book because uh, you know we're all helping each other out here um, Here's a book by Tom Singer, great um, uh, networking book. Uh, let's see, I'm looking for, uh, oh, here, okay, so here's an example of uh, a, a review and why I use dates. Um, so here's one, so I did my first review here on um, March 19th, and then I went back on March the 20th, or uh, April the 19th, and went back on April the 25th, and add in an addendum. So if you put your um, if you put your dates in there, uh, it's like keeping a little uh, diary inside the review. And um, a lot of times when people see a review is constantly updated, they'll hit the like button on that, and that will push your review to the top of the review heap. And that's yet another strategy in doing reviews because if you look at this review, I say. Uh, the 425th um, addendum I said writing beautiful business I wrote about using blah 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 so and then here's the other one and so if somebody hits uh, like on my review if enough people hit like and uh, um, the, the general consensus is the more uh, updates that that are in a uh, review and especially the number of updates which you can only tell by manually putting um, uh, dates in then that tends to elicit more likes. And so basically what happens is if, if, I, if this review of this book gets liked all the way to the top of the reviews, that's usually the first review that will be read. And the first thing they, review, they read in that review is, writing beautiful business I wrote about using blah, 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 blah. So this is another way to generate traffic um, from a review I do. In other words, I'm doing a review of seven down and dirty secrets and I'm driving traffic from that review to buy copies of my book. This is this is very powerful uh, stuff here. Uh, let's see, where's my EJ Gold? Um, oh, here's another example of uh, 318 and 425 uh, that I'm doing a review of um, uh, Tim, one of Tim Levy's books. I'm looking for the book of uh, okay now here's an interesting uh, book here here's my review of the human biological machine as a transformational apparatus talks on transformational psychology and by the way try to say uh, the human biological machine is a transformational apparatus five times fast so this is a review I did way back in uh, 2011 622 was the first one 
where I get to actually do a review of this book, which has nothing to do with marketing. This book is a consciousness book, one of the best ever written. And what I've done here on 213, 425, notice I've done this soft, um, this is called uh, bridging, or what I call bridging anyway. Uh, writing Beautiful Business, I've injected a good bit of uh, goals, technology into practical experiments relating to business. Uh, this just goes to show how timely and useful goals experiments are and how easy they can be applied to many areas of life as experimental crucibles, venues for experimental work with a capital W. Now, what this whole review is here, for people who are actually um, knowledgeable about what's called fourth wave uh, psychology or, or uh, experimental technologies, which is also um, uh, called the work or the great work, um, many times the work with a capital W. People who read this from that subculture will be able to decode this and will uh, be drawn into uh, perhaps buying a copy of Beautiful Business. So what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm speaking directly to a subculture of which I know the vocabulary. They're a tribe that I'm a participant of. And by tribe, that means a tribe is somebody where you know the... the um, the specific vocabulary. So in this case, work has a different meaning to people that are using um, technologies like uh, Gurdjieff or E.J. Gold or um, um, some other um, uh, technologies. The IM teachings, for example, would be another segment of technologies that relate to the great work. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a, a tribe of people where I know the vocabulary and the, uh, the complete subculture, including the vocabulary and the customs, and I'm speaking in their language so that they automatically know uh, at a very deep level, I am one of them. I am in the tribe. I have the secret decoder ring uh, and know the secret handshake of which, um, uh, you know, the only way that you can actually know all that is if you are a member of the tribe. And so this is an example of where you can bridge from one completely um, uh, seemingly unrelated topic, in this case uh, the great work, to applying the technologies of the great work to business which then apply back to the great work. And then in actual beautiful business there are a lot of uh, great work type terms that I use inside the book and I even have a section about the great work as an appendix. So let's uh, go down through here. Um, uh, that's probably uh, oh yeah here's a here's a set of uh, videos I did about or reviews I did about the the uh, badness of flip video which is out of business now. All right um, Let's go back to uh, the the um, the customer um, uh, creation equation here, and let's take a look at this. Um, let's find. Um, Okay, where where are all the oh I think it's all the all the way down to okay all the reviews newest first. Okay. Uh, oh no, I'm looking the wrong place. My apologies. Um, Okay, beautiful business. Oh, quick thing about beautiful business here. As you're publishing Kindle books, uh, you can see that you can create oversized uh, book covers that are different than the normal book covers that are wider, and you've got more real estate on the screen then to uh, publish your titles. Uh, all right, so let's click on this, and let's go to all the reviews. Let's see how many reviews I've got today. 14 reviews, all right. Um, uh, two, 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 two. Okay, here's Brian Massey's review. Now here's another, um, whoops. 
here's another example of how to um, ha! okay so and I told Brian that uh, about this too I suggested that he do a soft link back to his book from my review and he actually maybe even went through my very long 45 minute uh, talk about creating uh, high quality oh in fact I know he did he, he went through the I did a 45 minute video about people that are uh, being profession, professional uh, Amazon reviewers and he went through it and um, uh, extracted a bunch of information so you'll notice he has a link to his book inside the review he did for my book so he's driving traffic out of the review he gave for me to his book sales good job thumbs up for you Brian and he actually created a serious review here now if you notice here this is something if you've got a book up on Amazon make sure that you go to all the reviews and you can comment on the reviews and let's take a look at this comment I did for his review um, I said uh, Brian's right on if you mash up take the intersection of beautiful business I have soft link to my book and Brian's your customer equation chapter 7 marks you'll have a powerful combination so I've soft linked in my comment to both beautiful business my book and uh, your customer uh, creation equation. So these are um, powerful technologies that you can use. And just to wrap up, one last thing um, that I have noticed about Kindle. Um, Amazon tells you that your sales rank, um, and my sales rank today is for this book is uh, 153033. Amazon tells you that this number changes based on sales. I believe that's a lie. Um, and what this number is, the lower this number, the more eyeballs are on your book. In other words, the higher it is in categories and the higher it is in searches. So the lower this number means more money in your pocket. I mean, that is the bottom line. So your goal is to get this number lower. And I have noticed that this number changes uh, based on uh, three primary factors. Uh, number one, is the number of uh, total Kindle uh, titles available so that means that every day is another you know umpteen thousand books published this number will go up in other words so there are more books competing and so the number um, uh, the review quality or the sales rank dilutes and then Amazon will come through and they'll throw out all the ones that don't meet quality standards and the total number of published books will then drop slightly and this number will go down alright which is good the other effect is of course how many copies of the book sell uh, and then the other thing that Amazon doesn't tell you that I have noticed is a, a seems to be a big factor anyway is the number of reviews so let's just take a quick look so my beautiful business book has uh, 14 reviews and um, I'm making myself a note because there's one other factor too. Uh, this was published on March 11, 2013. So March 11, 2013. I'm making a note and I have uh, 14 reviews. And today my sales rank is, uh, what, what was that? One, one, 153033. Now let's take a look. Uh, let's go back to Brian's book, um, The Customer Equation, wherever that was. Okay, uh, Brian's book, The Customer Creation Equation, published on July the 10th, 2012, so it's much older than my book, um, by a year almost. He has uh, 26 reviews, so the book is a year older. Uh, he's got twice the number of, of reviews, and they're, you know, basically the same thing I've got. He's got you know, like, you know, 90% five stars and 5% or less, um, uh, well, we'll say, yeah, 90% five stars, 10% something else. And the same way with mine, I've got all five stars and one four star. And if we look down here, though, we see that Brian's customer seller rank, or his Amazon bestseller rank, is 453,901. So that's uh, a f there's far less eyeballs on his book generating sales. The question becomes then if he's you know if his book's been around longer, and he's got more reviews, 
how is it uh, how is it possible to um, uh, that you know my book has a, a a higher Amazon bestseller rank than his book, and I believe the um, the answer is, and this is another thing that Amazon does not tell you. I believe the answer is this right here. Uh, if you look at the details of his book, you'll see that there are uh, he's never done an update. And if you go back and look at um, uh, my book, you will notice that if you look in the data here, I'm up to edition 14. So that means I've published 14 editions. When, from the time my first release, March 11, 2013, came out till today, which is uh, June the 12th, so what's that, March, uh, April, May to June, that's a three-month period, I've done uh, 14 releases, so that's about four and a third releases a month. So I believe that Amazon is using an equation that is more similar to ClickBank's gravity equation. In other words, where they have an equation between how long a product's been around and how much activity is around the product, how many reviews, and how many sales. I think all that goes into the equation. Amazon just isn't telling us what their proprietary formula is. So what I suggested to um, Brian was, and he hasn't taken my suggestion yet, is I suggested that he take his uh, current book here and he simply correct any typos and uh, you know maybe add some content that's uh, specific only to the digital version so people buy that in addition to his physical version and then republish a second edition here uh, and see if that simple republishing of a new edition changes this number right here because if republishing an edition with typo changes and maybe a little additional content to generate some more sales, if that number went to like 50,000 overnight, then you would know for sure, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that that is a, uh, a serious factor in uh, publishing. So that is a consideration if you're uh, publishing on Amazon. I'd recommend that you do you know, an update every month or two at least just to keep your uh, content fresh. So that's a roll up of the entire um, uh, Amazon review system and um, uh, I uh, encourage you to pick up a copy of, where is Beautiful Business here? Pick up a copy of uh, Beautiful Business, uh, Living Well, Doing What You Love and um, uh, when you do a review of my book, then in the in the review and the, uh, say in your review what you liked about the book, and maybe what you'd like more of, or something that could have been explained better, uh, and I will um, take your comments and I will uh, release a new edition of my book and um, add or change whatever you request. Enjoy your best day ever.